Hi guys, uh, welcome to this uh, Primavera training session. In this introductory video, I will talk about uh, enterprise structure in Primavera P6, how to define projects, uh, calendars, and how to set a uh, work rate on structure. It's very likely that uh, what you see, the environment of Primavera is different to mine. If you want to change your view, please feel free to click on any of the icons we have. Uh, in the left hand side menu for example projects uh, resources or any others the first thing we need uh, to have is an enterprise uh, we can visit the menu enterprise and the second option enables us to define a new enterprise I can add a new one and uh, the name for this enterprise is um, construction for example I select the first uh, three letters as ID, so C O N, and uh, it's uh, done for us. I can close this. As you can see, this is my new enterprise. Uh, the next uh, thing we want to do is to define a, a project. I'm in the project tab, and as you can see, there is a plus sign in the right hand side menu. I can add a new project and uh, it asks the enterprise I want to uh, select and it is construction correct uh, project uh, ID and project name this is my project I name it uh, Nadad and uh, the next thing is the plant start and uh, other important um, things that uh, we are happy with default so we finish this one and as you can see my new project is now uh, defined under construction enterprise the very important thing we want to talk about now is how to set calendars uh, in the enterprise menu we have a calendars option by default there are a number of uh, standard calendars in here they can be global resource or uh, project um, calendars you can uh, choose the default calendar by checking uh, this box or add uh, a new calendar for your uh, project uh, I want to select uh, uh, five day work week for uh, trades to copy from and this is uh, my new calendar I can uh, name it again uh, Merdad and I want to make it a default uh, calendar I can modify and uh, different months of the year are illustrated in here I can add uh, for example uh, Christmas holidays and uh, the break at the end of December to this calendar I can select 26 of December which is the boxing day and make it a non-work day so uh, then I can visit uh, work week and these are the hours we have in each uh, day which is good and we are happy with that time periods again gives you option to change uh, from eight hours per day and select other available options but if you press OK and the settings are changed so we can do a number of things uh, in here as you can see and we can select detailed work hours and in the work week for example we can select uh, Monday to Friday by uh, holding a control button you can select uh, multiple days of the week and if you want to change uh, the hours you can by default it is 8 to 12 and then uh, uh, 1 to 5 I want to change this from 8.30 to 12.30 so I can select this and make it non-work and I can select this and make it work we, have, uh, we want to have a one hour break uh, between morning and afternoon working hours so this is a non-work and uh, we work from uh, 5 to 5.30 so let's make it work and press OK 
now the changes have been saved in the detailed work order day and you can press ok so now we have uh, this uh, default calendar for our project the next important thing is to have a work breakdown structure unlike microsoft project it is compulsory to set a work breakdown structure in prima vera before defining activities uh, we can select wbs icon on the left hand side menu and uh, here we can uh, go ahead and uh, define the work breakdown structure for our uh, new project which is uh, merdot so let's check if uh, there is anything here no so the way to create work breakdown structure is to work with the add button in the left hand side menu i can press that and it uh, creates the first level of uh, uh, work breakdown structure for me so uh, in your project i want to uh, create um, three work breakdown structures as you can see uh, i can uh, change the names in the general tab in here so i can name uh, this one for example offsite the next one uh, can be named coordination and finally the last one can be named um, on site Sometimes Prima Vera has problems in viewing uh, different uh, screens. If uh, you need to refresh your screen, please uh, press F5. And as you can see, uh, the screen is refreshed. It's sometimes very helpful. So uh, the next level for work breakdown structure for offsite, again, I can press uh, the plus sign and uh, create two more levels for that one let's name this uh, uh, panel and the next uh, one is named uh, module i can do the same thing for other uh, levels of uh, wbs if you press uh, plus sign and different levels are added it is important to check if the level of work breakdown structure is not appropriate like the one we have in here you can select that level and with the arrows we have in the right hand side menu you can move uh, the level of uh, work breakdown uh, structure the same thing for uh, on site and i can move uh, the last uh, level uh, and push it back uh, that's uh, what we wanted to cover in this video in the next video i will uh, talk about um, setting activities and other settings in primavera p6 please subscribe to my video channel for uh, new videos about uh, engineering and project management thanks for watching